Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisper here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whispers for April 21st, 2020. All right, we're going to start with the SPY. Yep, we hit one of our targets in the Java Pit this morning, uh, that 276 level, and we seem to be uh, bouncing off that area. So today, if we do go below 276, that is going to be, yeah, bearish. We are below the 8 EMA, you guys, on this daily chart. If we close below it, and here's a trend line that I've drawn, which we are uh, currently, let me just stretch this out. Yep, right on it. It's trying to hold on to it, hug it. Yeah, so if we close weak today, yeah, that's gonna be bearish. Yep, trend change and possibly Wave three, you guys, you Elliott Wave people out there. Yep, dreaded H in the weekly chart. We had it on the daily chart, and perhaps now one, two, three. Yeah, it could get ugly. So that's why this is so key. Uh, this trend line here on the weekly chart as well. Resistance, and this is why so many of us went short overnight in the Java Pit Trading Room. So awesome, guys. Yep, take some profits and we'll roll today. Uh, bullish only above 280. Let's go to the E-minis. E-minis are gonna be bullish above 2800. That's a key level, that's like that 280. And we are going to be bearish below 2757. All right, we already hit our first target. Uh, 2750 this morning, which is the 15 EMA. I'm gonna make this bigger, kind of show you. Bam, this blue line right here. Yep, we pretty much went right there. And it's a big level, 2750. $50 increments are really powerful. So watch the 2750 level moving forward. Yep, that was the first test. If we break below it, then look out below. We'll probably come down to this 50 simple moving average, 2700 area. A lot of moving averages there. Let's go to the IWM. The Russell, bullish above 119. Let's elongate this a little bit, okay? And that would be above the 8 EMA and bearish below 116.75. We'll see if we go below that once the market opens up. QQQ, bullish above 214. Bear below 210, I did send out that lovely picture for you guys this morning. Somebody died at the top of the hill. We have a hanging man in a gravestone doji. Yep, that is two bearish candles in a row. Um, so, you know, the Qs are definitely strongest out of all the major indexes, but that's definitely a a bear sign, you know, if you ask me. But I like to see it go below. Here's the big trade set up on the queues. And they're probably, uh, they're waiting for earnings. We have a lot of earnings coming out um, next week on a lot of the NASDAQ stock. So we have this gap right here. So most likely they'll take it down to that 120 simple moving average around this 207 area. Yeah, bounce it up and then fill in the gap. All right, that's a probably likely scenario. We'll see how that plays out. Okay, let's go to the NASDAQ futures. Yep, 86, um, 86.80, we're bearish below and we've already gone down below that. I did put this out earlier, only bullish above 87.20. And things are, yeah, see, this is ahead. See how this guy already came down to that 120? A little bit, yeah, the future sometimes trade ahead and bounced. Yeah, if it can't hold on to this 85.80, look out below. Yeah, there is definitely uh, a bearish pocket right there. Okay, oh, let's go to the oil futures. Holy cow. History is being made. Yeah, if I go to CL, what was it, K20? CLK20, right? Oh man, we this is next month's futures, you guys. We went negative 40 handles. Yeah, look at that. 
Uh, we did bounce back. We're still negative. And that's what was happening yesterday. Yeah, and you can see that uh, the June uh, came all the way down this morning. Holy mama, yeah, at 5.30 in the morning. Uh, bounced up to S2. And so, yeah, so watch these futures. We're going to be bullish above 17.60 all the way up here. Bear below 16, which we did drop below. So we are in bearish territory right now for those guys. Um, before I move to gold, just want to go into this UCO and USO. A lot of the traders have been like, oh my God, look at the volume that came in. Yeah, mega volume because these guys have to rebalance with those oil futures. Also, we had a reverse stock split on UCO. Yeah, you have more shares at a higher, less shares, sorry, at a higher price and they're negative. Uh, these are dangerous instruments to trade, but that explains why we have that heavy volume at the end of the day. All right, combination of two things happening at one time. No wonder the oil market was confused yesterday. Craziness. All right, let's go to the gold futures. Remember, we do have those reverse stock splits as well on Nugget and JNUG. So please stay out of those guys. Yeah, you don't want to get caught in that. Instead, GDX, I mapped out a trade for you. Uh, but let's just go to the gold futures first. We're going to be bullish above 17.06. That's all the way up here above this pivot. And bear below 16.80. All right, that's going to be a big level for the gold futures. And let's go to individual stocks. Thank you, Paul, for uh, mapping out this trade on Tesla. We are going to be bullish above 737.50 and bear below 725. We've already gone below that 725 level. So the trade setup is really from this four. Moving on down, we do have that gap. There's that gap again, right? Gap, fake out, bounce, fill. It's a very popular pattern. It's not 100%, but if you look back, you've probably been faked out like I was, and you learned. AAL, bullish, or maybe you didn't learn. AAL, bullish above 1126. Uh, now, I really was using this 8 EMA, which is at 1128. It moves. So when it gets there, make sure that you're bullish above whatever level that 8 EMA is on the daily chart. Uh, bearish below 1060. We had a print on it, 10, uh, 11.25, sorry, 11.25. We are well below that. That is bearish, the last print that we had, half a million. Beyond, I want to know who is eating these chemical burgers. Stop it, all right? These are bad for you. Yeah, go ahead and eat some vegetables if you want to be healthy. Um, this is high in salt, but again, uh, we're just going to trade it, all right? Don't eat it. Um, we're going to be bullish above 93 and bearish below 87 for beyond. You should never trade what you eat or eat what you trade. All right. Let's go to uh, BAC. BAC, we are going to be bullish above 2262, above that 8. Um, and we're going to be bearish below 2180 today. Yeah, there's a lot of room to go on the downside here if we lose this 30 simple moving average. That's really, really key. Let's go to AMD. Earnings are on April 28th. Yep, we've had big prints at 5538. So far, we are holding above them. But I don't know if somebody knows something ahead of earnings and did a trade. So just use it as a guide before earnings and then after earnings, we'll use it again. Uh, but be careful into earnings. We're going to be bullish above 57.50, bear below 55.37 for AMD. Netflix, earnings today after the close. So be careful. Could have a nice ride though. Bullish above 445.50. Bear below 440. Don't hold it into earnings. SLB. 
Great trade yesterday on the long side. Today, bearish below 14. Yeah, watch that 14 level. You can see that it's tested it so many times. Those buyers must be getting exhausted. Eventually, yep, there'll be less buyers and less buyers until there's no buyers, and then we would move down. Or we're gonna pop above this 8 EMA and close strong. We had a weak close. Sellers came in that wick at the top and sold it down at the end of the day. Uh, let's go to Coca-Cola. They had earnings. Thank you, Pinky, for the call out. Bullish above 47.50. Again, I'm looking at the bigger picture here. Right here is where there's free, yeah, free ride going all the way up. Um, Coca-Cola going down 46.25. Bearish below will most likely come down and hit these guys, the 20 simple and the 30 simple moving average. Those are powerful. Computers will be programmed to buy. In fact, let's see, is there anybody there yet? Maybe not. Usually they show their hand, but they're not there right now. They don't want to show where they want to buy it. But we know. As soon as it gets there, if it does, there's going to be buyers there. Um, okay, so we're going to go to Fro. That's the next one. Frontline. Yeah, Frontline getting a pop this morning. Bullish above 1120 and bear below 1080 for just a retracement trade. Whenever I put retracement, we're going against the trend and we're either retracing to person's pivots or the four EMA or sometimes the eight EMA. So it's a short day trade. GDX. So we know there were sellers loaded at 31 because we actually saw them with our own eyes in the Java pit and we are moving down. So bear below 29.40 for GDX. You know, there's a nice trade set up right here on the short side. And let's go to Ford. We had lots of prints on it last week and we are below those prints. So today bearish below 480, only bullish above 5. Well, there you have it. Those are your whispers for April 21st. Until next time, happy trading.